Standard details are typically included with most design projects. As details are created, they can automatically be placed in a specific location within a detail sheet through the use of named boundaries and drawing boundaries. A named boundary sets a physical size and can be seen when used while placing a drawing boundary. Drawing boundaries were created and configured for a detail sheet in an earlier lesson within this course. You will now use those drawing boundaries to define the areas containing standard details using this boundary to place the details within designated locations in the detail sheet. In this lesson you will place a name boundary using a drawing boundary, rename a model, add a sheet to the sheet index, associate a saved view to a detail sheet, and set detail scale. From the work page, open the cwdetails.dgn file from the datasets DGN folder. Here, you will find three details for the curtain wall. From the Name Boundaries ribbon group of the View tab, make the Place Named Boundary tool active. In the Tool Settings window, set the following options for the method from Drawing Boundary. In the Drawing Boundary drop down menu, 3x2 Detail Underbar Detail 5. In the Name field, type in Curtain Wall at Footing 1. For the Detail Scale, set this to be Full Size 1 to 1. For the Mode, Place a single name boundary with the Create Drawing option enabled. As you move your cursor into the view, you will notice a shape representing the name boundary. Position the shape centered over the detail in the middle and issue a data point. In the Create Drawing dialog, ensure that the following options are set. In the name field, Curtain Wall at Footing 1. For the drawing seed, 3x2 detail underbar and detail dash 1 with the create drawing model option disabled and with the create sheet model option enabled. Enable the checkbox for file name. Click the browse sheet file icon next to the file name field. Navigate to the DGN folder and select the existing sheet file BSI 300 sheets.dgn. This will be a new sheet with the annotation scale set for full size 1 to 1. From the drawing boundary drop down menu, 3x2 detail underbar detail dash 5. For the detail scale, full size 1 to 1 with the option open model enabled. When finished, click OK to the create drawing dialog. The newly created sheet model Curtain Wall at Footing-1 opens within the BSI 300 Sheets DGN file. This is the detail sheet that you created earlier. As you recall, with each subdivided area, you placed a drawing boundary. This drawing boundary serves as a placeholder for an eventual reference. Open the Models dialog. From here, right click once onto the curtain wall at footing dash 1 under the name column and select rename from the menu. Rename the model to footing and curtain wall details. Add this new name in the description field as well. Take note of the sheet number for this model. Next, you will incorporate this sheet into the sheet index. Open the Explorer. Click the icon Open Sheet Index for edit. Highlight the 
500 Details folder and then click the Add Sheet icon. From here, select the BSI 300 Sheets DGN and click Open. Then, select the Footing and Curtain Wall Details Sheet and click OK when finished. The Footing and Curtain Wall Details Sheet is added to the Sheet Index. In turn, the naming rules of the 500 Detailing folder have been inherited as evident in the Title Block and Drawing Titles. From the File tab, select Open and open the Detail Column DGN file from the Datasets DGN folder. This DGN contains several existing unassociated saved views for the column detail. You will associate these saved views to the detail sheet that you just created. Along the ribbon from the Saved Views group of the View tab, click the Dialog Launcher to bring up the Saved Views dialog. In the Saved Views dialog, right click on Footing 1. From the contextual menu, select Create Drawing. Ensure that the following options are set in the Create Drawing dialog. That the drawing seed is set for Detail View Underbar 3D Underbar Sheet Only. That the option for Create Drawing Model is disabled, while the option for Create Sheet Model is enabled. Enable the checkbox for file name. The file name should be set for bsi300sheets.dgn. From the Sheets drop-down menu, select Footing and Curtain Wall Details. From the Drawing Boundary drop-down menu, select 3 by 2 Detail underbar detail dash 2. Take note, when selecting from the Drawing Boundary drop-down menu, 3 by 2 detail underbar detail dash 5 was no longer an option. This is simply due to the fact that the drawing boundary within the sheet is occupied by a reference and hence it is not listed. For the detail scale, set this to be 1 to 25. From the Visible Edges drop down menu, select Dynamic, and with the Open Model option disabled, click OK. Repeat this process, adding an additional detail to the detail sheet. In the Save Views dialog, right click on Footing 2. From the contextual menu, select Create Drawing. Ensure that the following options are set in the Create Drawing dialog. That the drawing seed is set for Detail View Underbar 3D Underbar Sheet Only. That the Create Drawing Model option is disabled with the option for Create Sheet Model enabled, the file name enabled and set for bsi300sheets.dgn. From the Sheets drop-down menu, select Footing and Curtain Wall Details. From the Drawing Boundary drop-down menu, select 3x2 Detail Underbar Detail-3. Detail Scale set for 1 to 25. The visible edges set for dynamic. And this time, for the open model option enabled, click OK in the Create Drawing dialog to complete placing the detail and open the detail sheet. In this lesson, you placed a named boundary using a drawing boundary, renamed a model, added a sheet to the sheet index, associated a saved view to a detail sheet, and set detail scale. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
Thank you, and see you next time.